What's up, Christ United kids? Are you ready to practice our Bible verse for this week? And then we're going to dig into God's word together. So since it's our second day, you guys say it after me one time, and then we'll say it all together. All right. First Corinthians six nineteen. Do you not know that your body is a temple? of the Holy Spirit. All right, let's try it all together. Here we go. First Corinthians 6, 19. Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit? Awesome. All right, guys. So I'm sure that you noticed my friend Bob, he's back today. We're going to talk with him and um, learn about him in just a minute. But first, I want you to grab your Bibles because we are going to, just like the Big House kids, we're going to look at this verse in context, which means that we're not just going to take a tiny little bit of the verse. We are going to see exactly what God wants us to learn from this. All right? So if you've got your Bibles out, turn to 1 Corinthians 6.19, and we're going to read it together. And I thought I was there, but I'm not. There we go. Hang on. 1 Corinthians 6, 19. And we're going to read 19 and 20. All right? So, here we go. It says, um, Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? So, remember that. We know, because we talk about it all the time, that when we ask Jesus to come into our hearts, the Holy Spirit comes into our heart and fills us. That means that God of the universe, just like we learned when we talked about the Trinity, that God who created this earth is inside of us through the Holy Spirit. And that means that we are a temple for him. We are like the church. We are a church for him, okay? It says then, um, you are not your own. You were bought at a price. So who paid for us to not be our own? Who paid the price for us and for our sins? Before we can have the Holy Spirit in us, we have to ask Jesus to forgive us of our sins. We have to believe that he died on the cross. And then we invite the Holy Spirit into our hearts. So. It is Jesus who paid that price for us. Then I want you to look at the end of verse 20. It says, therefore, honor God with your body. Our bodies are a temple, a place for the Holy Spirit to live, which means that we need to take good care of it, not just physically, but also what goes into our mind, what goes into our ears. We need to take good care and make sure that we're honoring God with our body. All right? That's where Bob comes in. If you watch the Big House, you saw that the Big House gang had a bunch of balloons with different words written on them. And they had to decide if the, those things could actually go in Bob's body. If they were honoring God. All right? So, I don't have the balloons today. But I want you to give me a thumbs up if it's honoring, if, if what I say is honoring our body, all right? If it's treating our body like a temple or a big thumbs down if it is not treating our body and honoring our body, okay? Here we go. Reading the Bible. What do you think? Thumbs up. When we read God's word, we are honoring our bodies and honoring him and treating, treating our bodies like the Holy Spirit. All right. How about watching bad TV shows with awful language or with lots of violence or rated R or things that we know that we're not supposed to watch? Is that honoring our body? No, absolutely not. The things that go in our ears are going in our bodies. The things that we see with our eyes, that's going in our bodies. And we want our bodies to be a temple, to be the place where the Holy Spirit lives. All right. How about praying and talking to God? Absolutely. That's honoring our body. How about eating tons of junk food? 
That's not honoring our physical body. Junk food tastes good, but eating it all day long and not making healthy choices, that's not taking care of the body that God's given us, that the Holy Spirit's living in. How about listening to Caleb or Christian music? Honoring. That's exactly right. The things that go in our ears are going in our bodies. How about um, being super duper duper lazy? Is that honoring our body? By not moving it, by laying around all day? If we're sick, it's okay. But by being super lazy, are we honoring our body? No, we're not. All right, how about drinking lots of water? Mmm. Drinking water is a very, very good way for us to take care of our body, the phys our physical body. Our physical body needs water, and so drinking water every day can help us to have a healthy physical body. How about staying up too late and not getting enough sleep? Is that taking care of our body? No, it's not. Our bodies require sleep, and it's such a gift from God that he gives us. And so we can take care of our body and treat it like a temple by making sure that we get lots of sleep. All right, a couple more. How about playing outside, being out in the sunshine and getting exercise? That is treating our body like a temple. Very good. All right, I don't know about you, but you might have this one at your house. How about playing video games all day long? Is that treating our body like a temple? No. Absolutely not. And maybe it's not video games for you. Maybe it's a tablet or a computer. Or maybe it's just watching too much TV. Guys, all of those things um, in a little bit, in little increments, are good for us. It's fine for us to do those things. But if we're spending all of our time doing that, then we're not taking time. We're not taking care of our body. And we're not being careful about what goes in our ears and our eyes. All right. So we're going to pray today that God helps us to have an amazing temple for him and his Holy Spirit. So let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much. Thank you for teaching us this important lesson. And today, God, I pray that you would help us all to have a temple, a body, spiritually, mentally, physically, that is honoring to your Holy Spirit. Thank you for loving us so much that you want to live inside of us. And we just pray that we would honor you with our bodies. And all God's children said, amen. All right, guys, this was kind of long. And the rest of the week, they won't be super long. The rest of the week, we're going to get into God's word and see what it says about treating our bodies like a temple. So I will see you tomorrow.